Good morning, guys. It is approximately 6 a.m. Yeah, 5.51. 5.51. I'm outside getting in the Uber with Amanda and Randy. We're gonna go pick up Emily, and then we are on our way to New York City. And also, <laughs> I'd like to share that Randy and I are wearing the exact same exact outfit right same now. Outfit. Wait, wait, show your yeah, pants. Like, we, we didn't even plan it. She no. just showed up at the house and we were twinning. But we had it both planned out for days. That's the hilarious part. Oh my gosh, and our nails. And our toes. <laughs> Guys, we have arrived. We are in New York City. First things first, pizza. Are you sure we're not like skipping you? Um, okay. Okay. I guess it's New York pizza. Stuff. The problem is Rob could eat the whole thing, right? Mine is an eggplant parmesan. Randy, what do you have? I have a pesto one, and then this one has meatballs on it. We oh got gosh, that's spaghetti oh, on there. Garlic knots. Let's see what y'all got over here. Me we got the same pizza. Yeah, we went. Is that a spaghetti and meatball pizza? It's spaghetti and meatball pizza. Oh my gosh. And this is a chicken quesadilla. Pizza. Chicken quesadilla. Yum. How happy are you guys right now? What? Like, just I'm at peace with the world. That's spaghetti pizza though. That's probably one of the best things I've ever had. And for dessert, I've been dying to come to this place. Yes! We fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down. And we're building back up again now. Good morning, guys. Day two in Brooklyn. Yes. Rob Lipset. What's up? There's Sarah. Hi. You look so New York right now. Yeah. I do. Blending in. Well, probably because I'm from Chicago, so this is normal. It is yeah, 40 degrees outside, and I realized when I told Sarah that it was 40 degrees outside, and she looked at me with a blank stare that. They don't use degrees in <laughs> Ireland. Does not sound like the best temperature to be walking to the gym, but okay. that's our cardio, so that's what we are doing. We yeah. After that ice cream okay. and pizza, fit people be like, walk to the gym? It's freezing. We are not even halfway there, but cardio. You know, I've only been in off season for like a week. I still got low body fat. Yeah. <laughs> We're all doing a fasted workout. We decided to just wake up early. We got up at 6.30 a.m. Yes, we are on vacation, but just because you're on vacation doesn't mean that your goals come to an end. Yes, we are enjoying ourselves. We had some pizza, we had some ice cream last night, but balance. So we are enjoying this 35 minute walk to the gym to get our cardio in. We're gonna do a one hour lift. And then after that, we are headed to downtown Manhattan for brunch. We decided to get up at 6.30, get our workout in so that we had the rest of the day to explore and just have some fun. So if you guys wanna know how you stay on track while you're vacationing, this is how you do it. You just make time for it. And you surround yourself with people that are just as motivated as you are. And you hit the gym. And you don't lose sight of your goals. So. When you lose yourself, I'll be right beside you.
work got yeah. killed. We're starving. We're oh, headed to downtown Manhattan for an amazing oh, brunch. <laughs> to do some touristy things. We are gonna walk over to the Empire State Building. It is a 47 minute walk, but I think we all need it after that delicious brunch breakfast. Yeah. So, good. so good! So good! We have some more members of the squad joining us now. Say hey, hi guys! <laughs> and we're off! Oh, oh, love like shooting stars Came crashing down And we're building back up again now we got all the way to the front of the line and realized that it was going to cost $40 to go up to the top of the Empire State Building. So after a two hour walk, we decided we will not be going to the top of the Empire State Building. We just couldn't justify spending $40 to go on an elevator. We'd rather spend that money eating all the good foods. Rob. What would you rather spend your forty dollars on? Sushi, <laughs> uh, bakery, <laughs> cookies, <laughs> eat, hell, even a table in an iPad. Oh, you hide. I won't let you go. Can't let this die. When you lose yourself, I'll be right beside you. I'll be right beside you. Sort of lunch, yeah. sort of dinner. It's only second meal, but it's about five o'clock, so we're gonna call it dinner. Talk to you guys a little bit about balance and how to do things when you're vacationing. Also enjoy yourself, but stay on track. So what I ordered. Here. Just got a basic plain salad. I did romaine, tomatoes, cucumber, and then I got grilled shrimp on top. All right, y'all, we got three half pound cookies. We got red velvet, oatmeal, and chocolate chips. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and here we have the chocolate chip from City Cakes. Wow. OMG. Oh my god, so thick. This is, this is the best cookie I've ever had. This is good, but. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are back at our Airbnb after an incredibly long but amazing day. We've been going and going and going nonstop since 6 30 this morning. It feels like we practically walked the entire city, but we definitely needed it after all the extra calories we consumed today. FYI, those red velvet cookies at City Cakes were probably top three, top five best things I've ever eaten in my life. That red velvet though? I know, I still think the red velvet was better. Top one. Yeah, no, really, Literally I, the best thing. Man, the best thing ever? I can't think of anything yeah, better. Me neither. Shocking. I've had donut had ice cream were. sandwiches, I've had some of the best burgers, I've had some of the best food, and like that literally took the cake. I think what tops it for me is probably Girl and the Goat in Chicago. Oh, we're going there! Though. Which we are going to very <laughs> okay. soon. The carrot cake from Guilt Bar, also in Chicago. But I'm also very biased to Chicago food. I think it's the best food in the world. Definitely City Cakes, top five. If you ever get a chance to go, go check it out. We are in for the night. And yeah, we're vacationing. Just because we're vacationing does not mean that the work stops. We're all here on our laptops. Back home, it is work mode now, and that is it for the night. So we'll catch you guys next time.